to protect this realm of Yamato from foreign enemies. To better the lives of her people. To center governance on the seat of the emperor. These are the duties of those to administer this land. It may take time, but together with Prince Umayato, we will build a country. Sixth century Korean Peninsula. It was a time of war, of struggle among the three kingdoms of Gogoryo, Silla, and Baekje. The Kaya Confederacy, with Silla on one side and Baekje on another, maintained close ties with the distant realm of Yamato in modern-day Japan. And to Yamato, Kaya was a center for material procurement and cultural interaction. Kaya was attacked by her neighbor, the Silla, and lost territory. Baekje wanted to restore those lands and sought military support from Yamato, offering to that faraway realm a variety of technological and cultural advancements, most notably the Buddhist religion. And thus, a struggle on a distant peninsula would affect this land of Yamato. It is my desire to bring these teachings of Buddha to our land. I want you to discuss how this can be done. Umako, just what is all this talk about bringing the teachings of Buddha into Yamato? Our land will not forever be shielded from attack by the sea. We need to learn the advances brought by the teachings of Buddha. <clears throat> we need to make Yamato strong. Our land has its own gods from times ancient. You have an idol. Of what good is this rubbish to us? Moria, what do you think you're doing? Cut it out right now! <laughs> to make Yamato strong, we must adopt the teachings of Buddha, the advances of the continent. Well said, Umayato. Umako, it is with respect that I return your Buddha. Prince Umayato, it is with appreciation that I accept. These fools of the Soga, go feed your foolishness! It is this young man who would become my regent, who would govern the realm in my stead. Umako, the Mononobe clan continue to reject Buddha and are gathering force. <coughs> I don't know what to do. <coughs> Maybe with the divine protection of Buddha, my illness will be cured. The Mononobe clan has worshipped the gods of Yamato over the ages. I can understand why they refuse to accept new teachings from a distant land. But we must make our country strong. Perhaps there is no choice but to vanquish Mononobe no Moria. Vanquish Moria? And what if we are defeated? <coughs> we must act now! Now is the time for action. Princess Nukatabe is well versed in the teachings of Buddha and in the political arts as well. It seems that my destiny was determined at that moment. Emperor Yome died soon afterwards. Umako, fearing a crisis, moved quickly to vanquish the recalcitrant Moria. And thus, two powerful clans of Yamato fought bitterly over control of the imperial court and the introduction of Buddhism. If we are victorious in battle against the Mononobe, I shall erect a great temple in honor of the four heavenly kings. And together shall we fight! Men, off to victory! Yeah! And thus, Prince Umayato and Sogono Umako went off to defeat Mononobe no Moria. And by this, Buddhism gained entry to Japan, where it remains firmly in place to this day. 
Prince Asnuka Tabe, later Empress Suiko, was born in Asuka in 554. Her father was Emperor Kinmei, her mother Kita Shihime, daughter of a high-ranking official. One brother would become Emperor Bidatsu, another Emperor Yome, and a third Emperor Sushun. Prince Umayato was Yomei's son and Princess Nukatabe's nephew. Sogono Umako, who would go on to build Yamato together with Umayato, was an uncle. My little Nukatabe, you can already recite Buddhist scripture. Yes, father. I am learning many things. That's my girl. Smart. Study hard, for you will have to assist your brothers. Yes, father. Chronicles of Japan has this about Princess Nukatabe. Her appearance was beautiful, and her conduct was marked by propriety. Her father, Emperor Kinmei, and her uncle, Sogono Umako, were both taken by her intelligence and wit. From that time onward, she was destined to become empress. Princess Nukatabe became princess consort to Emperor Bidatsu, who later fell to illness. This union ended upon his death. Two brothers, Yomei and Sushun, passed away as well, leaving Princess Nukatabe next in line for the throne. And thus, Princess Nukatabe became Empress Suiko, Japan's first female monarch. <coughs> if we could go back 18 years before the ascension of Empress Suiko, to the year 574, to the birth of a baby boy, Prince Umayato, he would become Shotoku Taishi. This little boy will grow up to be a great man. <laughs> Umayato, you have entered your 20th year. You revere the teachings of Buddha. You excel in your studies. You have the devotion of the people. In this land, we need the teachings of Buddha expertise in construction and medicine, the knowledge of the continent. I want you to become my regent to help me build a country. It is with devotion that I will serve to complete the work of my father, to govern this land of Yamato with harmony, to strive for the happiness of our people. And thus Prince Umayato and I set off together to implement the policies and practices necessary for this land. And so we commanded that the teachings of Buddha be spread throughout the land, for we wanted Yamato to be centered on knowledge and wisdom, and thus, under our direction, powerful retainers vied among themselves to build temples in worship of Buddha. Umako built a splendid temple. It is with this that we give physical form to the teachings of Buddha. Asukandara Temple in Nara was completed in 596. It is the oldest temple in Japan with a tile roof. The architectural skills of Yamato advanced dramatically. Prince Umayato erected seven temples, including Shtenoji in 593 and in 607, Ikarugadera Temple, which would later become Horyuji Temple. Imoko, you are diligent in your efforts. Prince Umayato, it is due to your 12-level cap and rank system. Up until the enactment of the 12-level cap and rank system, only the progeny of powerful families were promoted to high positions. Under this new system, however, officials were ranked by ability, with their status indicated by the color of silk caps. This helped to nurture talented officials capable of building a strong, prosperous land. We hereby declare a new law of the land. 
One, harmony is to be valued. You are to avoid rivalries and quarrels. Court retainers are to serve under a spirit of unity. Two, revere the three treasures. You are to venerate Buddha. The teachings of Buddha, the law, and the monks and ministers of Buddha, the priesthood. The laws of the land shall here and after be embodied by this, the 17 article constitution. The 17 article constitution emphasized social harmony, defined the relationships among rulers and the ruled, and formulated a new system of governance. You called for me, Prince Miyato? You are to leave on a diplomatic mission to the continent, to Chang'an, the capital of the Zui. To the capital of the Zui. The Missive. The Son of Heaven in the Land of the Rising Sun addresses a letter to the Son of Heaven in the Land of the Setting Sun. We hope you are in good health. Prince Umayato dispatched emissaries to the continent, instructing them to study this new religion of Buddha and the advances of their continental hosts, and to bring back this knowledge to transform Yamato into a center of learning and enlightenment. According to Chronicles of Japan, Umayato began construction of the Ikarugonomiya Palace in 601. He followed in 607 with the completion of the nearby Ikarugandera Temple, now Horyuji Temple. These works were erected in Ikaruga, which offered good access to Naniwazu on Osaka Bay and to the land and sea routes to the continent. Prince Umayato placed much importance on foreign relations and diplomacy. A roadway built by Prince Umayato to connect Ikaruga to Asuka is used to this day. Prince Umayato had four consorts. Princess Ujino Kaidako, Tojiko no Iratsume, Kashiware no Hokikimi no Iratsume, and Inabe no Tachibana no Okimi. Princess Ujino Kaidako was a daughter of Empress Suiko. Tojiko no Iratsume was a daughter of Soga no Umako. And Inabe no Tachibana no Okimi was a granddaughter of Empress Suiko. The prince was especially fond of Kashiwade no Hokikimi. Together they had eight children, four boys and four girls. Hokikimi, you have served me faithfully. My days with you were the happiest of my life. For what are you saying? It is me who has been blessed with happiness. You must get well. You must. And thus, Prince Umayato, able and ever faithful regent to Empress Suiko, passed away in his 49th year. His subjects later came to call him Shotoku Taishi in honor of his many virtues and achievements. It is said that Prince Umayato's wife and favorite consort, Hokikimi, who had cared for him with devotion on his sickbed, died a day earlier. And to this day, they rest side by side in the same tomb. Back then, it was very unusual for a man and wife to be interred together. Inabe no Tachibana no Okimi, another widow of the prince, assuaged her grief by embroidering a tapestry depicting scenes of her late husband in Buddhist heaven, the land of infinite life. This was the Tenju Koku Shucho Mandala, a national treasure. Prince Umayato was adored, and his passage deeply grieved by all around him. Prince Umayato and I built this country. We spread Buddhism throughout the land. 
we established the 12-level cap and rank system and introduced the 17-article constitution. We established diplomatic relations with the continent. And this is the realm of Yamato, the land that we strove to build. And thus ended the life of Empress Suiko, who ruled for 36 years as the first female monarch of Japan. She was 75. Empress Suiko and her regent Prince Umayato and their many achievements, together they built a country. It is a story of greatness, of inspiration. It is a story that will live through the ages.